This community delights in finding analogies between disparate fields and the mental models that underlie them. So the question is, in what, what way does an astronomer think that provides a unique insight into the everyday problems of a non-astronomer? I like, I like this question in, of asking how astronomers think. Um, astronomers are a pretty mixed group, and I have colleagues who really specialize in big picture, you know, how the universe began, questions, are we alone in the universe? I have colleagues who spend invaluable time picking at teeny tiny details of how a star works or how a telescope works that wind up usually giving us invaluable insights into our field. So the way that we think is really pretty um, disparate depending on who you're talking to. I think probably the nicest aspect of being an astronomer that I like gets to, um, we, our sense of perspective has to be able to shift pretty rapidly. You have to be able to go from how did the universe begin to why is my software crashing? And I think being able to sort of keep that flexible perspective in mind is something that benefits you in everyday life, um, whether you're switching from worrying about something to running a mundane errand, whether you're focused on some big, massive, stressful concern at your job, and then switching to, nope, got to update my computer. Um, that sort of ability to jump around in scale is important in astronomy. And I I see it applying a lot in a lot of other places in my life. Um, another question that a lot of people ask a variation of is how do you effectively communicate the complexity of your subject matter? Like you just referenced, because all matters that you're dealing with are often on a scale far outside of our everyday experience. So, so timelines on the order of billions, distance measured in millions of light years. And then in thinking about that, if you could kind of tie in, uh, what are the mental models that help your reasoning on problems of this scale? Uh, so the mental models for my own reasoning come from having a really solid physics background and math background um, using all of the sort of modern computational tools that we have at our disposal. Um, I love the understanding of physics working at such a broad range of scales. So you can count on some understanding of physics intuition to figure out how a star the size of Jupiter's orbit works. And that sounds impossibly huge, but it's obeying Newton's laws. It's obeying the laws of thermodynamics. Things might get a little weird and you might find physics that you weren't expecting as you poke at it a little bit, but there is a nice reliableness to physics that works across scale that helps in sort of the intuition. When it comes to communicating the science, this is hard. And I think that at some point you just have to make clear to people, look, these numbers are so comically, hilariously, humongously huge that they're, they're not quite gonna click. When you think of something that's a million light years away, that sounds ridiculously far, and it is ridiculously far. Something that is a billion light years away is a thousand times further than that. And at a certain point, far away is just far away. So there's a there's a need to make clear how extreme things are to people. But once you've impressed upon them, you know, the universe is a really big place. Look at how long it takes us just to get to the moon, the closest thing to us in the universe, and sort of trust from there that people appreciate the enormity, even if they can't quite do mathematical comparisons of big versus really big. 